Hey guys, Depanda here. So I've noticed a lot of us have been having issues with Virtual Desktop and Half-Life Alex, where we would play Half-Life Alex and then there would be random stutters or jitters that would ruin the experience for us and take us out of the immersion. This happened to me a lot when I was playing Half-Life Alex, where it would just randomly stutter. It felt like there was like just random frames that were missing. I noticed that this wasn't a problem that I had in other games, it was only in Half-Life Alex, And that's probably because Half-Life Alex has so much data that it's sending, that Virtual Desktop is just having a hard time sending all the different frames. Whatever it is, it wasn't working with Virtual Desktop very well. It looked amazing, but those random jitters, it was enough to make my wife extremely sick, and I just, I found it annoying. I didn't get sick from it, but it was enough that my wife got sick and didn't want to play. And so it really was an issue that we want to fix. Virtual Desktop now has a setting that allows you to get rid of stutters by having slightly increased latency. Even with that setting, I was still having this issue. So hopefully Virtual Desktop fix fixes this in the future, but for now we need to find a workaround to make this work. And so one of the members of my Discord community, which link in the description if you want to join by the way, he found a fantastic solution for this that he shared with me, and I'm going to tell you guys all about it right now. By the way, if the solution works for you guys, if you've been looking for a solution for the Half-Life Alex starter, then smash the like button in appreciation to help this video in that YouTube algorithm. I would really appreciate it. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So the solution that he found was actually really simple. He, instead of using virtual desktop, found that using the alternative, the free alternative ALVR, actually got rid of all of the stutter. All right, now if you don't know what ALVR is, it's a free alternative to Virtual Desktop that you can get on SideQuest. It's right here, you just need to look it up, ALVR. You, you have to install the app to the PC, and then you also have to install the app to the headset, and make sure they're both on the same versions, and then there's some other things you have to do to set it up. Make sure you install the C++ Redistributable. There's a whole list of things that you need to do to get it set up, and honestly, it was a lot harder to set up than Virtual Desktop, but if you want to do it, there's instructions here. There's a link with all the instructions, and there's plenty of YouTube videos that explain how to set up ALVR. I'm not going to show you right here because I am still having some issues with it, so I'm not entirely sure all the ways to set it up. If you guys really want it maybe in the future I'll, I'll give you guys an alvr tutorial um but for now i'm just gonna tell you guys about the fix that he found so playing half-life alex with alvr helped him to have zero stutter and i tried it out and i was able to play the game with absolutely no stutter it was awesome it was smooth clean i loved it that being said there were a lot of other issues for example my latency went up from 30 to 40 milliseconds all the way to about 70 milliseconds with alvr Okay, so that's a significant increase in latency. Also, there's no real way to measure it, but the visuals just didn't look good, honestly. Like, I tried it both back and forth just to make sure I wasn't tripping, and, and yeah, the visuals in ALVR just weren't as good as they were with Virtual Desktop. So you might be thinking to yourself, oh, awesome, we have this free alternative to Virtual Desktop, why pay the $20? Well, Virtual Desktop is still superior to ALVR, but there is the positive that ALVR doesn't have the stutter. So it just depends. The where I'm sitting right now, I will continue to use Virtual Desktop because it runs a lot better with all of my other games. It's only Half-Life Alex where I'm having this issue. And so if I ever want to play Half-Life Alex, I might just do it with ALVR just to get rid of that stutter. But at the same time, Half-Life Alex is supposed to look very beautiful and amazing, and it just doesn't in ALVR. It's just, it's really significantly reduced and I, I just, it doesn't work for me, it's not perfect. But if you really wanna get rid of the stutter, that's one way to do it is with ALVR. I'm still looking for other ways to get rid of the stutter using Virtual Desktop. I feel like I'm getting less of the stutter now that Virtual Desktop has added some updates. Um, they have a, an option to get rid of some of the stutter with increased latency. That improved it for me, but didn't quite get rid of it all the way. I know that if you get rid of um, sliced encoding, that's supposed to help get rid of the stutter too. But again, I was still getting it even without that. And so I'm still looking for a way to get fix this, guys. Hopefully, Virtual Desktop just improves and improves. And that's honestly why I like Virtual Desktop so much is because the guy who's developing it, he's really amazing. He listens to the community and he really is doing the best he can with that. And it, it's really a fantastic app that he's put together. ALVR, maybe there's ways to make it look better than what I was getting. I It just didn't look great for me, but I didn't really play around with the settings. So maybe 
if you play around with the alvr settings you can get it to look a lot better i just haven't had time to do that once i do get around to playing with the alvr settings and if it does end up looking better than virtual desktop or at least equal to virtual desktop i'll let you guys know because that would be amazing to have this free alternative for, to virtual desktop but i'm suspecting that that's not going to happen because there is a reason the majority of us use virtual desktop and not alvr even though it's cheap and by cheap free you know so that's the solution guys give alvr a shot um go through the instructions here if you want to set it up or, or look at a video when you are setting it up, you do need a good connection to the computer. And so if you haven't seen my virtual desktop video, go check that out because you're going to need a similar setup with a router that's going to connect to your headset and your computer. Um, or you can do it with a hotspot, lots of different ways to do it. Go check out the video. I'll link it in the description and up in the corner right here so you can watch that. And again, props to the guy in my Discord community who told me about this solution. You're really awesome. I really appreciate it. If you want to join our Discord community, it's down in the comments. We're a growing community and we share memes, we share tech tips, we help each other out with any tech issues that we're having. If you have questions, you can always comment them down below, but it's a lot easier for me to respond in the Discord community. And also, we just like to play games together. So, you know, join us for that. We're growing bigger and bigger um, by the week. So that'd be awesome. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're getting close to a thousand subscribers and I really appreciate it, guys. It's been a goal of mine to get. And once we hit a thousand, we're not gonna stop there. We're just gonna keep growing and growing until we're the best VR community on YouTube. Anyways, I apologize for the low production quality on this video. I was just making this video real quick. And by quick, I mean, wasn't writing any scripts. I didn't, you know, put a whole lot into the editing but that's just because you know with thanksgiving coming up this week it's just a lot going on so you guys have to forgive me uh, after thanksgiving hopefully i'll be able to catch up and start doing more frequent videos with higher production quality i appreciate you guys sticking with me until the end but anyways that's it for this video i'm out